We have to be safe. Our country has to be safe. You see what's going on in the world. U.S. President Donald Trump adds six more countries to a controversial travel ban. Hello, I'm Arnold Naidoo, and this is The Heat. Beginning on Saturday, citizens from six countries will face tough travel restrictions, effectively blocking immigration to the United States. The expanded travel ban affects people from Nigeria, Myanmar, Eritrea, Kyrgyzstan, uh, Tanzania, and uh, Sudan. The White House says those countries fail to meet minimum security standards. A crackdown on immigration has been the centerpiece of Trump's presidency. And we begin our coverage now with this report from CGTN's own Fairclough. Arrivals at Washington's Dulles International Airport, now beyond the reach of many who'd like to live in the U.S. That's because President Trump's expanded ban targeting Myanmar and Kyrgyzstan, as well as African states Eritrea, Nigeria, Sudan and Tanzania, is taking effect. I work for eight years in, the, in this airport. So this Sudanese taxi driver uh, settled in the down. U.S. nearly 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. It's like a lot of people, they want to come to visit families and all that stuff, but it's, it's, he's making it very difficult. The executive order applies to immigrant visas that can give travelers a path to permanent U.S. residency, not temporary non-immigrant visas. Trump says he's protecting the U.S. from terrorists. The countries listed don't meet security standards. Opponents of this extended executive order say it's no coincidence that many of the countries on this list are Muslim majority countries and African states. Just days after taking office in 2017, Trump enacted a similar ban covering Chad, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Venezuela and Yemen. We will reinforce old alliances and form new ones and unite the civilized world against radical Islamic terrorism. Shame, shame, shame. Worldwide protests shame. followed over claims Muslims were Trump's target. Campaign group Muslim advocates estimate this latest move more than doubles the number of Muslims banned from the U.S. to more than 320 million. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.